morning, everyone. Todd Houghton here from Houghton Physical Therapy. Todd's tip of the day, the top seven reasons why yoga is good for you. In this episode, you will hear what my top seven benefits of making yoga a must in your weekly routine. Where am I? Again, my name is Todd Houghton here from Houghton Physical Therapy in Attleboro, Massachusetts. I've been a physical therapist for over 20 years, and I'm passionate about helping people getting the results by treating the cause of their symptoms, not the result of their symptoms. My favorite patients are the ones that have taken other routes to help their bodies heal and have not gotten the results that they want. I like to find their starting point, find out where we need to go, where we need to start from, and then where are we gonna go with that patient. I really believe that the mind and body are connected. As a physical therapist, we need to treat the physical body as well as the mindset for every patient that comes in the door. You can also feel free to contact me at Todd H. at Houghton Physical Therapy.com if you have any questions about the episode tonight or any of my past episodes. Please share the video, tag a friend if you find that this might be useful information for them so we can spread the word to as many people as possible. Please also let me know where you are, you know, um, where are you watching this from? So here we go, my favorite part the top seven reasons why yoga is an important part of your week. Well, some of you may be asking, what does yoga have to do with physical therapy? Well, we know that being well-rounded in life in every part of your life is crucial to being successful. So when our clients come in, oftentimes they're physically wounded, um, they're in pain, they're out of work, frustrated, as well as maybe emotionally or their mindset might be off a little bit because of their injury. All these changes can lead to big issues with their mindset and having trouble going forward sometimes and focusing maybe not on the best things, focusing on negative thoughts as well as positive thoughts. So I feel that yoga can help with all of these. So numerous health benefits. Number one, numerous health benefits. You can get a drop in blood pressure. After my favorite part, savasana, which is when you lie down at the end with a pillow or a blanket for a few minutes and listen to your amazing yoga instructor, maybe put out some thoughts for the day. It's also been shown to drop your uh, systolic pressure and your diastolic pressure, systolic by 26 points and your diastolic by 15 points, which is enormous. The second part of the physical um, benefits is regulated adrenal glands. One of the things that we know that when we have stress of the body's under stress is increased cortisol. Yoga has been shown to reduce, to reduce the cortisol levels. Increasing uh, long cortisol levels over a period of time can compromise the immune system and people get sick and doesn't put them in a good place. It's also been known, increased cortisol levels have been known to um, see an increase in depression and osteoporosis. It also increases your heart rate during activity, which will overall decrease your resting heart rate, um, which will make you healthier. The third part of the physical um, benefits is lowers your blood sugar. It can also lower your, um, your cholesterol. It will, it will lower your bad cholesterol, your LDL, and boost your uh, good cholesterol, your HDL. Also lowering cortisol levels and adrenaline levels while encouraging uh, weight loss um, will improve the sensitivity to insulin. Number two, really basic, is it makes you happier. When you're around someone that, um, uh, someone that takes yoga classes or when you're in that mindset, you're just happier because you focus on things you're grateful for. In life, we tend to focus on things that we don't have. When we focus on things we don't have, we get a lot of things that we don't want or that we don't have. But when we focus on things that we do have, it generally, that is what we get. Um, it also improves your relationships. So regular yoga puts you around a different group of people. Um, it's going to help you to develop. Some people mix, um, you're around people that are a lot more friendly sometimes, compassionate, um, and you feel at a great, greater equal to others. Because we know yoga is about um, avoiding harm to others, telling the truth, taking only what we need and put this into the daily practice, huge benefit. Number four is it helps you focus. Because remember, yoga improves coordination, reaction time, memory, and also IQ scores. Number five, more physical gains. It boosts your immune system. You are gonna stay healthier. That's a guarantee. 
improve balance for some of the poses that they need to get into. Maintains the nervous system. It's just, it's a good thing to kind of reset the nervous system, um, challenges it in ways that you're not gonna challenge when people are more sedentary. It helps to also release tension in your arms and your legs, which is also another big benefit. And it also helps with digestive issues. The sixth one is one that I've been really focusing on now, is better sleep. Um, the restorative yoga, which is one of my favorites, which is when you just kind of hang around in different poses. Um, there's many different types of yoga, but restorative is one of my favorite. Yin yoga is another one. Um, and it teaches you how to, um, how to focus on the good things, um, gives you some more techniques on breathing, gives you some more techniques on relaxation, which you can use just before you go to bed. And if you happen to wake up in the middle of the night, you can also use some of these great techniques. And all types of yoga will help you to decrease the tension in your nervous system. And seventh, certainly not the least is, I'm gonna say this is probably one of the biggest benefits, is it encourages self-care, which is something everybody should do more of. Everybody needs self-care. In our life, it's really common that we're always taking care of others, our family members, our friends, our coworkers, but really do people do enough of the self-care. And if we were able to do a little bit more of the self-care, that's gonna allow us to give to other people. Because sometimes, you know, we get to the end of the day, our glass is full. And when we get to the end of the day and our glass is full, we don't really have a lot um, left in the tank to be patient with someone when we might get home, to be patient with a coworker, to be patient with a friend or a partner. So it's gonna encourage more time for yourself. Again, the more we get that in, the better it's gonna be. It's also gonna give you some really good tools to help you change. Gives you a means of self-support, teaches you how to kind of self-soothe yourself, teaches you to ask some better questions, and allows you to put yourself in a better mindset. So number seven, really encourages good self-care. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I think yoga is a fantastic thing um, to go to, many different types of yoga, um, but I'm gonna get into a little bit more yoga next week. Feel free to reach out to me through Messenger, reach out to me personally, reach out to me on the Houghton Physical Therapy webpage or toddh at houghtonphysicaltherapy.com. And please feel free to ask or type in any questions at any point. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next week.